Hi, my name is Midtown with DJ Studio and today we're gonna be taking a look at the automatic BPM mode and how you can use BPM transition presets when you're making a mix inside DJ Studio. We're also gonna compare the differences between the auto mode and the manual mode. And finally, we'll take a look at how you can disable beat sync on a transition to transition basis to create some truly genre defying mixes. Jumping into DJ Studio, we're gonna take a look at the auto BPM mode and where you might choose to use one BPM transition preset over another. Jumping into the studio view, you can see I've got a few songs and transitions ready to go. Looking down the bottom left, we can click the arrow to expand the tempo lane. By default, we're in auto mode and each song in our mix has its tempo or BPM beats per minute represented by the orange line. Now, if we come in over here and look at our first transition, click on the transition window itself. And now you can see we've got a few different BPM transitions that we can apply to this transition window. Now, by default, DJ Studio is going to use the half preset. The half preset is going to take the tempo of song A, which in this case is 123 and it's going to transition to the tempo of song B, which is 126. And it's gonna perform that transition using half of the transition window. If we change that preset to full, you'll now see that we use the full duration of the transition window. It's worth considering on a song to song basis, which preset might be best for this mix. In this case, I've set up this transition window to mix using the build of song B. And if I switch back to the half BPM transition preset, the tempo is also gonna increase in the second half of this transition window through the build, hopefully creating an awesome lift in energy. Let's take a listen and see how it sounds. In this case, the half BPM transition preset works great. Taking a look at the next example, this transition is much more drawn out. It goes on for 32 beats, and this is a great opportunity to use the full BPM transition preset. This preset will transition the BPM from the beginning right to the end of the transition window. Extending the BPM automation like this, it's great for doing subtle and gradual adjustments. There's already a lot going on in this transition, and I don't really want the listener to get too confused by this sudden shift in tempo. Let's take a listen and see how the full preset works for this transition. that shift in BPM over the course of a minute, and that's helped us create a seamless transition. In either of our first two examples, if you did wanna tweak things slightly outside of the full or half preset options, then you can select free, and that's gonna free up those automation nodes so that you can click and drag around and get the timing just right. Maybe the full BPM transition preset is a little bit excessive, so we can come in, click and drag, and freely move the timing in so that this transition of BPM sort of happens in the middle of the transition window in this case. Now it's important to note here that switching the BPM transition to free allows us to freely move the timing left to right of our BPM transition, but we're unable to move it up and down to change the tempo of the song that we're just mixing in from or about to mix in to. Regardless of whether the BPM transition is set to free or we're using the half or full preset, we can change the tempo of a song in auto mode by moving our cursor onto the orange line. You'll see our cursor changes into the little up and down arrows and by dragging up and down, that that's going to change the BPM that we're transitioning to in auto mode. Maybe we don't want to start our mix so slow, so we can come over to the left here, click the orange line to the left of the automation node, setting the tempo for our first song and drag that one up. And maybe we'll have this one start at 126. Now that we've explored the auto mode, let's come down to the left-hand side of our BPM track here and select to switch into manual mode. Now it might initially appear like not too much has changed. Our BPM automation nodes and their position are set up exactly how we had them in auto mode, and as we bring our cursor up to the BPM line, you'll see we get those same up and down arrows to adjust the tempo of our song, but if we move the mouse up a little closer, it turns into the plus symbol, and we're able to add automation nodes and move them around with full manual control. You can create your mix in full auto mode, and then switch over into manual mode, and fine tune the timing of your tracks throughout your mix. Inside of manual mode, you'll also be able to use the set mix tempo feature. Simply select it, and you're able to enter a start and end BPM for your mix. For example, let's start at say 125 and change this one to 130. Click apply and now our mix transitions smoothly from the beginning to the end, starting at 125 and steadily increasing to end the mix at 130 beats per minute. This can be fantastic if you wanna create just a smooth, gradual mix that simply and slowly increases the tempo. DJ Studio can take care of that. You can just worry about lining up the songs, setting your transition windows, and then behind the 
scenes, the tempo of your mix is going to start at whatever BPM you want and move gradually to whatever BPM you'd like the mix to end on. You can also use the set mix tempo feature to flatten and fix a mix to one tempo. All we've got to do is enter the same tempo for the start and the end and now the tempo of our mix is locked at 128 BPM. This can be very useful if you've got a mix and you just want to set and forget a fixed tempo and just focus on the song selection and the transitions. The final BPM feature that we're going to look at is the ability to enable and disable beat sync. All the features we just looked at are about having DJ Studio manage the BPM of our music either throughout the entire mix or throughout each individual transition window. But whether you have a song that has its tempo dynamically changed throughout, or maybe you just have two songs that are totally different tempos altogether, there's nothing in the rule book of DJing that says that you have to mix by gradually changing BPM. So let's look at how we can turn all that BPM syncing off for just a single transition. Switching back into auto mode down the bottom left of our BPM track here, DJ Studio will warn us that we're going to lose our custom BPM changes. Our BPM automation is now unflattened and we're back to our automatic presets. Over on the left, I'm going to select add tracks. DJ Studio is currently looking inside my record box library and I'm just going to search for without me. And we're going to click the plus symbol and choose add one track to mix. The last track in our mix before without me is a mashup of show me love and M&Ms without me. I think it would be cool to go from this remix that teases a sample into the original song, but we might face a problem with that considering the mashup is 128 beats per minute, whereas the original is 112 beats per minute. We can make the transition work though by just ignoring BPM for a moment. All you have to do is click on the transition window, come down to the BPM transition presets and select off. Our transition window has turned red and the orange lines that represent our BPM automation are no longer connected with nodes, but rather have these faded out ends. And that's because what DJ Studio is going to do here is leave song A playing at the tempo it was set to going into the transition window and then introduce song B at the tempo that it is set to post transition. For just the duration of the transition window, we're going to forego any sort of beat sync. And why might that be useful? Well, let me just adjust some of our other transition automation options down here and I'll show you what sort of effects we can get by disabling beat sync on this particular transition. By letting Song A there just echo out and give a little bit of silence, we can give the listener's ears a second to sort of reset, and then by the time we go into Without Me, that 16 BPM drop doesn't feel so noticeable. And that's just one example, but you'll find plenty of opportunities where the right song selection can mean that a mix just works, regardless of whether they happen to be compatible in terms of BPM. I hope you've enjoyed this video covering some of the BPM features that DJ Studio offers you. If you want to learn more, then you can always click on the little message bubble down the bottom right-hand corner inside the application and then click help. Otherwise, in your web browser, just navigate to help.dj.studio where you can learn about all the individual features inside DJ Studio.